Now, even if you find out, it says it's got poisonings. I think so, maybe. I have a tattoo artist. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, if you find out no tattoos... Poison. Can you give blood if you got a tattoo? Uh, after three months. After three months? Yeah. Okay, what if someone is about to die and you got a tattoo? No. Can, yeah. you, can you give oh, them blood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there can might you? be exceptions, depending no, on the country. No, no, I'm just say, no, I'm just saying, let's say you have a tattoo now. Yeah. And someone is about to die because of, for the sake of blood. Yeah. So they ask you to donate your blood. Yeah. But you just got tattoos yeah. just now, right now. Yeah. If you wouldn't have the tattoo, yeah. you would donate your blood, yes, to that person. Yeah, but, but what if you, you if you have if you don't have tattoos, what would happen? You could save that person, yes. I think there's more than enough AB blood supply. No, no, I'm world, just I'm so. just saying I'm just saying yeah. example, no, yes. I, get, I definitely get what you're so saying. So now in Islam, yeah. it's not about putting us in a prison. Mm -hmm. It's about Allah knows us knows yeah, no, brother, yeah. in Islam it's about Allah knows better than us so now let's, let me give you an example if you have a son a daughter or a child yeah. and you're the mother who knows better the, you or the son no who knows better your child Oh, your child, your child, or you, the mother, who knows better? My child. No, how they can? Know it? Themselves better. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying about that. Yeah. Can your child know what's good and what's bad? A child. Yeah, depends on age. But, but no, yeah. let's say okay, a four-year-old. Yeah. Okay. A three-year-old. Yeah, no, I definitely think let's say. Okay, or let's say he's not educated. He's not educated. Okay. Yeah. okay, who knows better? You, yes. Yeah. Allah is the one who created us. Okay. He knows what's good for us and what's bad for us. Yeah. So, like in our example, Allah told us to do not drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Because of our own beneficial. Yeah. Because if I drink alcohol now, now if I go to the hospital, if I'm sick, I get a heart attack. Yeah. What's the first thing they ask me? Do you drink? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Okay, yeah. so Allah told me already in the Quran, yeah. do not drink alcohol. Why? Because he knows what's better for me. If I drink alcohol, let's say a woman now, a woman, yeah. if she drinks alcohol and walks around in the night, what would happen? Or a man even, what would happen? People would take advantage. Maybe if you are a girl, they would rape you. So because, it, yeah, yeah, in Islam, we do protection. Yeah. Which comes first, prevention or protection? Yes. No, solving or prevention, which comes first? Prevention. Brother, brothers, brother, 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 please. They're, they are together, we are talking, oh, sorry, so because they're interrupted. <laughs> so, the other now. So, what I'm saying is, yeah. uh, he's just interrupting me. So, what was I talking about? <laughs> so, what comes first, prevention yeah. or solving? Prevention comes first because if the matter, if an accident, if an incident happens, yeah. occurs, so we need solving to solve it. Yes, mm -hmm. but what if I protect it, prevent before the incident happens? Because that's why Allah said, "Do not drink alcohol." Allah is preventing us. Do you understand? Behave yourself, please. Behave yourself. Listen. You ignore him. That's, that's what I'm okay, now, so prevention comes first, yes? So that's why Allah said, do not drink alcohol because of preventing you. And He said, do not stay um, and with a man in a private room. Do you know why? Anything can happen. He can rape you. Now, if you see around the world, no, if you see around the world now, girls and women are getting raped. Yeah. Listen, in Islam, who's raping, prophet, who is raping them? Listen, your prophet Man. encouraged so the now, raping so of women, what I'm asking, Christian women, what I'm asking, and, and Jewish you know women, and that is why they're still doing you know it now. You know in Africa, you know in the country I come from. Is, is, uh, what Today is Sunday, he's drinking. No, no, no. What a load of nonsense. So now what I'm asking, listen, your prophet, so now what I'm your prophet, is, prophet Safiya, Safiya, he said to us Safiya, what? Within, within a few alcohol. hours of killing, killing it. Okay, okay. I told you the reason, yes? So prevention comes before solving so if the matter happens so solving is too late you can, that can interrupt you you understand now so you understand now so now what I'm saying what else do you think about do you have any negative about Islam any negative about Islam what do you think well I personally I don't agree with modesty say again I don't agree with modesty and like to do with the garments and everything That's about covering your body I fully respect that people do want to but I don't agree with 
Yeah. So, <laughs> you mean about covering yeah. your yeah. wearing yeah. scarf, yeah, all that. Yeah, exactly. But in Islam, do you know that by not covering, if once you accept Islam, yeah. that there is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger, and you accept Islam, as long you believe wearing hijab yeah. is good. And sister, please come. Sister, sister, please come. Yeah, sister, I'm inviting you. Forget about him. Because the way he's even approaching is negative, and I'm approaching positive. Okay, sister. So, um, do you believe modesty, it's a choice with, with Yes, with modesty religion? in Islam, yeah. Allah asked the woman to cover themselves yeah. because of many reasons. The first one, Allah, is, we are Muslims because yeah. we stay under the law of Allah. Mm -hmm. So if Allah says do this, we have no options. If we do it, yeah. that's up to us. Okay. So if you accept Islam yeah. and you don't want to wear hijab, doesn't mean you're not a Muslim. Islam is not about being harsh or yeah. difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about bring, bringing difficulties. It's about making ease for us. Example now, you believe a hijab is must to wear, but you are Muslim, but you feel you don't, you're not feeling like you're not ready to wear it, then that doesn't mean you're, you're not a Muslim. You are Muslim. You understand? So if you sin in Islam, Imagine if you sin one time, yeah. Allah is going to write down for you only one sin. But if you do one good ten times, yeah. it's going to multiple, multiply for you yeah. ten times. Okay. See? Yeah, how, how good does that is work with sinning with Islam? Is it similar to Christianity when you can just ask any Christian, no, or something? In, in, in Islam, if you sin, yeah. if you sin and you don't repent, repent from okay. your sin, yeah. as long as you're Muslim, depends on Allah. Okay. If he wants, he will punish you. If he wants, he will forgive you. Okay. But in the end, all Muslims will end up in heaven. Yeah. Oh, so it doesn't matter if you sin. No, if you sin, it matters. Towards okay. Allah, if you sin, it yeah. matters. Okay. Because he will judge you according to your deeds. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand now? Yeah. But Christians, if you sin, Jesus died for your sins. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. See? Very ridiculous. See? Yeah. So basically, you're relying on someone which even God of the Bible said he will not accept, accept human sacrifice. Jesus himself, in the Bible he says, when in judgment day, Christians will be judged according to their deeds. Yeah. So if you are sinless, why you will be judged according to your deeds? That means Jesus died for nothing. Do you understand that? Yeah. And in the Bible he says, Jesus will ignore them because of their sins. Yeah. So he died for what then? He died for nothing. Yeah. But in Islam, if you say, let's say, I want to accept Islam, I believe fasting is must. I feel like it's difficult for me to fast. As long as you believe fasting is must, but you're not fasting, you are a sinner, but that does not take you out of Islam. Imagine, even now, if I'm sick, I cannot take... You know, in certain situations in Islam, let's say, Girls, when they have, after the period, yeah. they have to take shower. After uh, and seeing your partner, you have to take shower before you pray, you worship God. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. so it's about cleanliness. Yeah, okay. Okay. So everything, yeah. so it says you're sick and you have to take a shower, compulsory shower. Like you finish your period, yeah. you cannot worship Allah unless you clean yourself, and take a shower, take a bath, yeah. a bath. A yeah. bath and, uh, Is that just before praying? Yeah. yeah, when you take a shower and then, you worship Allah, you pray to Allah. But if you're sick, you're weak. You can't walk. Allah is so merciful. You know what He asked us to do? To forget about taking a shower. So we do alternative replacement. We do tamum. Tamum, you just touch the wall or sun, you clean your hands, you blow it, you blow it, and then you do this. Just let's say the wall is here, you yeah. touch the wall, you do this, and then this, and this, and then your face. Yeah. You can pray. Because of a valid reason. See? It's not about, it's about saving your soul. Your soul, your life comes first in Islam. If someone is forcing you to insult Allah, and you have no other options, and he says to you, I'll shoot you down, I'll shoot you, or you have to insult Allah.
you have choice. You can insult Allah as long as you don't mean it. It's not harsh. See? So that's why if you think a hijab all the time, if it's modesty, we see a lot of Muslims are not wearing hijab. Does that mean they are not Muslims? They are Muslims. So even when you sin, Allah waits for you. He gives you time to repent. So it's not about if you sin, Allah forgives you straight forward. We cannot judge if, a, if someone passes away, even Christians now, if they die, a single Christian dies, passes away. I cannot judge him because I'm not sure whether he died as a Muslim. Brother. Because With Allah will judge us according to your deed, according to our deeds. Repenting, is that right? You ask Allah to, for forgiveness and then you ask, you repent, which means you come back to him from your sins. And then if you repent, then you don't need to do that sin again. If you do it again, Allah will forgive you. But if you die, depends on Allah. If you die in judgment day, if your sins are more then your good deeds, oh, then yeah. that depends on Allah. Okay. As long as you die as a Muslim, okay. we cannot judge you. Yeah. If you die as a Muslim and you're a sinner person, yeah. I'm not going to say, oh, you was a sinner, yeah. you never covered yourself, and yeah. you used to drink alcohol. As long as you know all those, yeah. yes, it's haram, it's prohibited. Mm -hmm. But all we want is you to accept Islam. Yeah. That's all. The rest, it's you, it's between you and Allah. There's no harshness in this life.